here today to do my August wrap up. And first we start off with the books that I read this month and reviewed, which you can find the links to below to see my actual like full review thing and whatnot. First I read The Infinite Moment of Us by Lauren Meyerkel, and this was fantastic, a great story of a uh, teen love, sort of, because they, they just graduated high school and about to go to college or uh, on to some other great endeavor, and uh, basically not just struggling with life, not really, but mostly like their love and the different aspects of love with physical, emotional, all that stuff, psychological and everything, and uh, I've been told, well, I listened to a Civil War song in the middle of this novel because it reminded me of a song, which I will not say because I don't want to spoil anything, but, because uh, it's not mentioned in the book, I don't think. I think she references a couple of songs, but uh, Civil Wars gets this book. Oh my goodness. And then we have The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider in the UK and uh, maybe some other places it might be known as Severed Head Broken Hearts. Uh, it was also previously known as that as well in the United States, but they changed the title because Barnes & Noble they rule all. Basically it's about this kid named Ezra who uh, was in this accident and sustained an injury and decides that he no longer wants to be with the popular kids anymore. He uh, wants to go hang out with the debate team and it's pretty stinking awesome. Infinite moment of us and beginning of everything both top my list of top favorite books of this year so far. Seriously. They're really good and this one has puns. It has puns. The and then we have All Our Yesterdays by Kristen Terrell, and this one is also fantastic. Oh my gosh, like this month I read all of my favorite books of this year so far. I know I've read other great books, but this month was like really good. All Our Yesterdays was very fantastic. I did a video review of that, but uh, I'm just going to say it anyways. I really love this book. There's this great friendship triangle going on, and just time travel done so well and so cohesively and so... Uh, it was wonderful, especially like since YA sometimes doesn't get a great rap for uh, certain genres, but really great book uh, involving some great time travel and, uh, you know, how people become, um, not bad people, but evil sorts of people, I guess, yep. That happens. And then the last book I read this month was Rose Under Fire by Elizabeth Vine, and this one was absolutely fantastic. Kept me on the edge of my seat of tears. It's about this girl who, she's grown up in America, her family's from Britain, but grown up in America, and she's decided that she wants to join the, I don't remember what the full name is, they kept calling it the ATA. It's a group of girls who, um, women, I should say, very fine women, uh, who transport planes to different places just like oh we need an airplane over here or we need cargo over here that kind of stuff and so she did that but she ends up on uh, enemy lines she accidentally flies into Germany I believe uh, because she's in France and she accidentally does that and ends up at a concentration camp and so it's this amazing amazing story not just about her about the women that she meets and whatnot and it's oh it's so great so let me know below what you read this month and what you enjoyed and let me know what you did this month that was super excited and made you excited about life and things so have a great day and keep reading